What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Shonen Showdown. I'm your host, Rob, and sitting to the right of me is... Scott. And today, we're going to be covering The Promised Neverland. Now, we want to talk about the big three of the escapees. We're talking about Norman, who's a strategist, right? We're covering Emma, who's basically that motivational athlete. You need one of those. And we, <laughs> we also want to cover Ray, who's basically acting as your double agent. Um, so they all have their key roles that they play, um, but we want to figure out who is the most important of those three. And uh, Scott, I'm going to start with you. Who do you think is the most important piece of the puzzle? Uh, well, going into this debate, thinking about it, um, making up lists of pros and cons of all three uh, three key players that we're discussing here today, um, I honestly do not have a pick yet mm. for the most important in the big three. I honestly don't know, so I'll, I'll go to you. What do you got? <laughs> don't mind if I do, Scott. I'm going to take this and I'm going to let you guys know immediately that the answer is Norman. There is no other answer. We're talking about somebody that was able to find out that the size of the brains and the quality of their brains were something that the demons desired. We're talking about somebody that's so intuitive. He was able to find out Ray's truth before he even exposed him that he was working as a double agent. He was able to find out that Sister Crone was trying to use them to basically dethrone mom and he used that to his advantage by trying to use her. He also was able to find out that the demons had multiple farms where, where they're trying to harvest more children. I mean, this man is so special that he was able to figure out that the best way for them to find out where the location of the tracking devices was to use one of the youngest kids named Carol. Like, this is just unbelievable. He is just a complete beast. He has so many different plans that every time that the students needed, I mean, the, yeah, the students needed something to figure out, they went immediately to him and they were trying to figure out, you know what? Listen, Norman's getting shipped out. What can we do? I mean, come on, like, the, if Norman leaves, we can't do anything. Hold on. Norman already planned for this and made a new revised plan that even if he gets shipped out, Emma can carry it out. And he's just a complete, he's next level. Whether Norman was there or not there, it did not matter. Norman got the job done. His final plan was able to help everyone escape. He's just, a, he's just next level. Like there's nothing you can really say about anybody else um, that would stop him. The only bad thing that I think he did. What do we got? is that he told Don and Gilda, he wanted to tell Don and Gilda, and I think it was a little too soon, and this is the reason why. Don and Gilda probably, uh, to me personally, I don't think they were ready to know about the, the escape plan at that particular moment in time. And this is the reason, if you're gonna hide the fact that Connie actually passed away from the rest of the kids, wait until there's an opportunity where you can relay that information, because now you have Don that's just going crazy, right? He's basically Don trying to man. ruin ruin the escape plans by rushing into the secret room and you know having to you know avoid mom and it just made stuff way too hot it made sister it gave sister crone a nice little nugget where she can come through and intervene and uh you know it made things a lot of it made things steamy and i didn't like that and i also didn't like the fact that you know you have don swinging on ray swinging on norman throwing punches like it's just, it was a little too soon for that. You know what I mean? And that's one, the only uh, blunder that Norman had, I feel like, um, that was really detrimental to the escape plan. Other than that, though, this man has no blemishes. He's just a complete beast. He's next level. Um, so the answer is none other than Norman. Um, but I'm going to go to you. Who do you think it is? Um, honestly, all you, you said great points about Norman. Norman is definitely up there. He was definitely one of the top two in, in the big three. I would agree with that. Uh, however... Um, honestly, going going forward with this, I'm gonna give you the real most important person. In the oh victory. my God! This is none other than Emma. Yes, <laughs> the Goku of the series. Yes, what? And I'll say it again: the Goku of the series. Yes. While Emma may not be the smartest in the crew, she is the most charismatic, and she is never willing to give up on her family, her other siblings. That's because right. Because of that, Norman is forced to change his plans, adapt his plans, so that he can make a way so that everybody can escape because he knows Emma's not gonna leave without everybody. With that right. being said, with that being said, Emma does end up leaving the kids under four years old mm. uh, under the care of the next Hokage Phil 
<laughs> because she's able to adapt to her plan, overcome her initial objections to the idea, and make a plan so that everybody can escape and everybody's safe. That was very valid. The I like that. younger kids, they might not have um, been able to escape. They might have not been able to be physically competent enough to get over the cliff. And so she takes all that into consideration and decides to leave them there. Um, in addition to this, uh, what you said about Norman telling Don and Gilda was, was, a, was a misstep, mm -hmm. uh, I agree. However, it's also interesting to note that Emma was the one that came up with the idea to tell all the other kids. Mm. And that idea allowed Norman to make a plan where they were all training and allowed Emma to be depressed and act sad after Norman left. And that's played a big role in how they were all able to escape. I mean, listen, I think it's interesting, right? I think it's interesting that you know about Emma, you know, relaying that information to the kids yes. and, you know, picking up. Listen, Phil is a huge pickup. I mean, we're talking Oof. about somebody that was even, he was the one that basically discovered William Minerva, right? And we're talking about him basically, you know, somebody from the outside yes. leaving coded messages in the books. Emma just kind of stumbled upon it and brought it, you know, to the group's attention. But it was really Phil that figured it out. Um, so that's good. But listen, Norman calculated everything. And you're forgetting a very key problem that Emma had. Norman's shipment. We're talking about the day Norman is about to leave yeah. and Isabella is right there. All the kids are right there. And you mean to tell me you're going to expose the tracking device that Ray made just because you're upset that Norman's about to ship be shipped that, out? That you gotta know stuff. Norman. Norman is a person that even if he looked like he was lacking enthusiasm, it didn't matter because he had a revised plan. Norman is somebody that is so calculated. He does not make a move without thinking about everything else on the outside and factoring everything else in and if if nor if emma being the closest person to norman knows that why i you can't let your emotions get the best of you because you put yourself in a position where mom already broke your leg she was already done with you yes right now you have isabella giving you death threats she's she scared of that she <laughs> What? Listen, What's that? What, you gonna... what do you mean? Yeah, yeah. What do you mean? Listen, you gotta understand that Norman has a revised plan, so you can't expose the tracking devices. You know, you know the 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 basically the the device that Ray made to destroy the tracking devices. You can't expose that device because now you're putting the, you're. It's gonna be very problematic now because now Isabella hasn't even tired leash on you, so. I think that's like one of the big problems she had. But everything that you said about Emma is correct. Yes. Um, you know, she she did use she did use the uh, you know tag playing tag with the kids to basically you know increase their physical attributes, um, all that stuff. Very great. Um, but yes. <laughs> but what? But we gotta remember a lot of the stuff that she carried out was because Norman coached. Norman is basically the best coach ever. Like he had everything written to a T. Oh, you want to expose Ray? Don't worry, I got you. Oh, you're trying to escape? Don't worry, I got you. He had so many counter plans to everything. He had, I feel like he had a plan A through Z. You know, if something else happened, he had, all right, I have another plan for this. I have another plan for this. Oh, I'm getting shipped out? Doesn't matter, I have another plan for this. And I don't think Emma can really step up to that level um, you know, of being quick on her feet in that type of setting. I think she needs quick the coach. I think she needs the initial coaching from Norman, and then False. being in that predicament, then she can make certain moves. If you think about it, a lot of her moves that she made were not initiated by her. Even the Phil situation, that was a quick. That was a quick move. But the whole thing happened because it was carried out from Norman's plan. From Emma's right? idea to tell the other kids. Oh, man. Don't do this, man. Yo, if you want to go back, let's take it back, all right? We're we going a little hard. I kind of want to talk about the Ray fans out there, but y'all got to wait a couple minutes. Right? A couple <laughs> minutes. Yeah, then we'll get to that. Just a couple minutes, all right? What you said about Emma exposing the tracking device. Right. Um, and Norman was able to um, use his hand maneuvers to kind of keep it hidden so that uh, mom didn't see it. Um, right. However, even if she had used it on Norman and Norman had tried to escape, Emma 
took a knife to cut the tracking device out of Ray's ear and out of her, her ear. They cut their ears off and right. put them in places so as to throw mom off, all right? She, she did have a plan for that. Even if the tracking device didn't work or even if they did successfully use it on Norman, she did have a plan for that. If I admit it was reckless, very. And I see that's why Very. that's why you, you put Norman over her. Right. But I like that energy. I like that, you know, she's able to make decisions quick on her feet and think about the consequences later on. And if there's any negatives to it, she's gonna she's gonna work over that while she's getting through the initial hurdle. I like that more than Norman. The main reason why I don't have Norman as my number one mm. is because at the point where he this. realized where he was about to get shipped out, right? He formulated a plan so that Ray and Emma can escape mm-hmm. automatically off rip, not including himself in the plan, accepting the fact that they're gonna get him, he's gonna die, and they're gonna need to move on without him. That to me is a sign of giving up. I know he put work so that they could all be better off and they would have a better chance of escaping. But that in and of itself, to me, it sounds like, oh man, like, yeah, it's over for me. I'm done. Wait a minute. How can I help them? Wait a minute, wait a minute. That's just, yeah, what's up? I want to clear something up right now. Clear it up, clear it up. Are we talking after he found out there was a cliff? Because if we're talking after he found out there's a cliff, I want to mention that Norman actually did the correct thing. He knew that the kids were not able, they were not in their, in their current state, they were not able to basically cross that cliff at a key point, throwing ropes, zip lining. They didn't have the physical strength. They didn't have the knowledge. They didn't have that. And he knew it would take time for them to be trained, which is why Norman calculated that and put that in his new revised plan. You gotta remember, you remember when Ray climbed over the wall and everybody was there, everything was good? Ray had, you know, kind of like this connection in his mind where he was talking to like, you know, kind of like he was hallucinating having a conversation with Norman and he was basically saying like, yeah, like Norman was kind of telling him in that hallucination that, listen, I did all of this. Like, I planned for everything. Don't worry, you're escaping, Ray. You thought you were gonna kill yourself? I already knew you dealt that. So I already had a plan made up for that. So we gotta remember anything that you're saying right now. Yes. Norman knew. Norman, Norman. already. Norman knows. He probably already knew what you ate for breakfast this morning because he's just that special. He plans for everything. I mean, it is plausible so, that he could have, you know, figured out what I ate for breakfast this morning. That is plausible. <laughs> however, however, that does not account for the fact that. He didn't even take Emma's consideration, or Emma and Ray's consideration of him just breaking his leg to just give himself more time so that they could train while he was recovering. Okay. I mean, it's a possibility. We don't know if mom would have shit to my anyway or whatever, but he wasn't even willing to, to take a risk, to take a chance of like, oh, let me try to survive. Let, let's all get out of here. He's like, oh, you know what? I'm done. But he specifically- I'm done with this. Listen, he specifically told no you- chance. He told us why. He said, listen, if I try to save myself in this current in this current position that we're in right now, yep. what's going to happen is that somebody, they're gonna fill somebody else. They're gonna throw somebody else to take Norman's spot, right? So this is something where Norman was awesome. like saying, listen, I can't let you, I can't try to escape right now because they're not gonna spend all their time searching for me. What they're gonna do is say, listen, Norman got away, all right, cool, we'll catch him later. Ray, you're up next. Norman, uh, I mean, sorry, Emma, you're up next. You know what I mean? They're already looking for the next juiciest brain they can eat. Like, they're not worried about which one, what name. They don't care. You know what I mean? So Norman was saying, you know, listen, I expect that you guys want me to stay, you know, here and not be shipped out. I love that. But right now, if we want the most, you know, awesome escape plan, you got to let me be shipped out. Because right now, the kids aren't in a state where they can all escape. And if Emma wants everyone to be safe, you got to follow Norman's plan. And she did. And look what happened. So I think, you know, at the end of the day, Norman, he's just unreal. He's just unreal. You can't really touch him. Not even Ray. And, you know, while I'm saying Ray, let's get into Ray. I mean, he, I was just about <laughs> to bring that up. It's been a couple minutes. It's been a while. So let's I get into some of y'all out there in the comments already talking about, what about, what, what? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> 
right? No, no. I, I mean, listen, he did develop that, you know, the device to destroy the tracking devices. Um, <laughs> him being a double agent working for Isabella was very, very key. Um, it, everything that he's done, all every, you know, tidbit of information that he's brought to the table has been very well in complimenting Norman when he's making those plans. Um, he's just, he was able to, you know, manipulate Isabella to get him more, you know, resources and more tools so he could develop devices such as the camera. I mean, he had her literally eating out of the palm of his hand. I mean, that is his mom. But right. What? It is his, <laughs> it is his mom, right? Even with the fire escape plan, that was very nice. But we got to go into the cons, fellas. He's just not in the, he's not in the top. And, and the reason why is... Listen, you have Isabel eating out of the palm of your hand. You mean to tell me that your own mom locks you in a room? Throw the whole key away. Just locks you in the room. You're sitting there pounding. You gotta wait till Don comes escape and gets you. And that whole blunder caused Emma's leg to be snapped. I just didn't like it. I think there could have been a way better situation for them. They could. He could have planned something. I think he you know he he was getting a little too confident that Isabella wouldn't have had counter plans. You know what I mean? And I think he thought that you know, listen, I have mom under control, so anything you guys need, I got you. But that was not the case, as we saw. Mom was already planning stuff way before him. She was already she's basically like the Norman on like the villain side. So, kind of, yeah, that's so, so I mean, Ray, you got to come harder. You know? I mean, um, yo, honestly, like you made some great points. Uh, about why Ray's in the bottom, you know, bottom of the three, but you don't even have to go that far. I mean, you, you don't gotta, you being a little nice, alright? I'm being nice? Ray is dishonest. Oh, man. He is a snitch. <laughs> oh! Okay? When they first were like, oh, Coney died, we gotta escape. He was like, oh, really? Why? Huh? What? What's going on? He knew the whole time what was going on. He planned to escape by himself, oh, man. using all the tools that he got from mom, and he was gonna say, nothing right mm. he was not planning on involving them in his escape plan he had one the whole time he's dishonest he's always willing to tell mom anything to better his own position and he's even willing to throw his own brothers and sisters under the bus like oh. that for me nah oh, nah man. man nah oh, this is also man. strategic why <laughs> there's a point in the show where norman asks um emma even if we find out who the snitch is you still want to take them with us? Because at this point, he suspects Ray. Right. And Emma's like, yeah, I still want to take them. But Norman knew that. He was like, I really don't want to take this kid. Like, I want to leave him here. Like, this snitch? Like, what? Yeah. I don't want to take... He only took. He only considered him into the plans because Emma said, no, we got to take everybody. He was like, okay, you're right, I guess. But Ray, nah. Yeah. nah. <laughs> Listen, that is a very key point. Uh, yeah, Definitely. I mean, Ray, you know, Ray has... But, you know, you got to remember, Ray, Ray basically, since he, he was working as a double agent, you know, his, like, Isabella's really actually biologically his mother. You know, he, he's in a very tough position. We got to give a little credit to, you know, say that, listen, if he blew his cover with the conning situation, I don't think anything would have developed for Ray, for Norman and Emma to actually... You know find a way to the, make a plan and do things I, I just think that Ray had to basically suffer and play the role as a snake so they can have some type of he can have some type of trust between him and Isabella so he can make his moves um, it's all about developing trust if you're working as a double agent or a spy you got to make the other you know the opposing side trust you um, so if he exposed himself with, during the kind situation, he would have lost that trust, which means no, de no device to destroy the tracking devices, which means we got to make a new plan. W would Norman have been able to do it? We don't know. Um, but we got to give Ray some credit, just a little bit, just a little bit. In my opinion, he barely has enough to be in the big three. I, well, before <laughs> he was having this debate, I suggested to the actual host of Shonen Showdown, <laughs> Should we have a debate about who is in the big three? I was oh. considering putting Phil up there. Oh, but man. let's not even get into oh, that. That was, that was a little bit. Phil's, Phil's like Phil, two. Not yet. He's, nah, a, he's, not he's elite. By the time Emma he's comes elite. back in season two, oh. <laughs> it might be season three. I don't know. But 
If it feels elite. You know what? You guys are going to have to help us out because between yeah. Norman and Emma, like, honestly, we don't know. We haven't yeah. come to a conclusion. Yeah. I mean, I know. It's Norman. I mean, yeah, but, I know too. It's Emma. But, I mean, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. All right. for the channel, you know, yeah, for the sake of the, you know. You, listen, you guys let us know in the comment section down below who you guys think is... Even if you don't even have these people in your big three, which is crazy, I'm probably not even gonna read it if you don't have them in your big three, but who's in your big three? Who do you think is more important? Just let us know. Yo, shout out to anybody who thinks it's Phil. Let's go. <laughs> and with that, we're signing out.